All right, boys and girls, it's time. By the time this video goes live, my uh, top five hardest scenarios video will have gone live. So uh, you can see there that uh, Razia is not an easy one. So let's just get into it. Let's just try and get this over with. <laughs> 732 AD, year 110 of the Hagira. A month since we crossed the Pyrenees. Our army advances into the heart of Aquitania, scouting the region as we move forward. Thick forests and open fields abound. We made camp near a river crossing. The Frankish army is powerful, but their cavalry cannot match ours as long as we fight on an open field. Using our mobility to our advantage will prove vital in the battles ahead. El Cafiki will risk no error. He has a score to settle with the Frankish Count Odo of Aquitaine. The warlord who smashed an Umayyad army at Toulouse ten years ago. After such a long time, these two giants will finally meet again. The Frankish lands are divided and are no match for the organization of the Umayyad Caliphate. Capturing the city of Bordeaux will surely throw the region into chaos. Then, we will pounce on the scattered Frankish army like a cat upon a mouse. This will be the great razia or rage of our time. I can only pray that we are up to the challenge. Me too, man. Me too. Okay, so scare the Aquitanian villages into submission by destroying the monasteries. We have a population limit of 200. Uh, rush in, destroy the monastery, rush out. There are three suitable locations for you to establish my camp. Fishing is plentiful in the Bay of Biscay. Uh, do not attempt to attack the fortresses of the Frankish army or the citadel of Bordeaux without advanced siege equipment. And there are a bunch of relics hidden around. So uh, we have a camp here that we have to raid. Those are the villages we need to raid. Bordeaux is on the Bay of Biscay to the west. And the Frankish army is kind of scattered to the north with a few different camps. Three nearby villages supply the Frankish army with the resources. We should pillage them before we set up our camp. We have the resources to outfit a handful of extra troops, but we are otherwise on our own until reinforcements arrive. Uh, I mean, we can train a few extra troops. Actually, very few extra troops. But uh, we don't really need to. This first part's kind of really straightforward. So essentially, it's it's a smash and grab. You run in, you kill the monastery, we get some gold, and run out. Okay. We'll leave the Huskarls to do the building killing. You can see that each of the Frankish villages are marked on the map, as well as where the paladins that will uh, reinforce this. Um, as well as where the, the paladins will come in. But, I mean, these guys are all. They're all pushovers. There's gonna be like a good 25 or so paladins, you know, fully upgraded. Quickly! I spot Frankish paladins approaching from the north. So yeah, you gotta you gotta run fast. This very well might even be the longest video I've made so far. Like, this is gonna be a long one. Because the the scores might not be too assuming right now. But uh eh, trust me. Once we get our, our base camp set up, uh, they're going to have infinite resources. Just like every other instance in this campaign. Are 
crossing the river. Duly noted. Anyway, we'll send our cavalry back. And just uh, let the house carls do all the building killing. So you can tell we don't really have many resources, uh, and we only get like I think a little bit of extra food and wood and stone, uh, and we get like five villagers. And then we have to mount an attack and defeat the Frankish army in Bordeaux, who are both more or less post in Franks with infinite resources. Is that very fun or easy? Uh, no and no, but do it we must. Because we are completionists. Frankish paladins approach from the northwest. Make haste to our camp. So in just a second, we should be getting our villagers. villages have been subdued. Reinforcements are now on their way to help us establish a camp. So we're just gonna set up down here. It does leave us a little vulnerable to the water, but it lets us get going right away. I mean, you can see by the enemy scores jumping a huge amount that uh, the quicker we get set up, the better. Okay, and this is also what we're going to do. You can see all of... Okay, I guess they're not fully upgraded Frankish Paladins. They, they don't have the Imperial Age Blacksmith upgrades. Oh, man. What we're going to do is we're going to bait these Paladins just to get out of the way so that I don't accidentally run into them with my villagers and then they, you know, attack me and then I die. So we're just going to bait them over here. That's fine. Azul. And since they're, you know, a dummy AI and don't do anything, we'll be uh, a-okay to get our camp established. I think it's really dumb that the paladins don't go away, because now there's a bunch of paladins sitting here and here as well, making setting up here really hard. And I think, where's the other area where they suggest you can set up? I don't remember. Maybe it's like here or something? I don't know. Anywho, like I said, we are in Imperial Age, and they're already attacking us, right? Great, 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 great. Now, of course, still 7th century, no access to gunpowder. Otherwise, bombard cannons would make, or bombard uh, cannon galleons. There we go. We got there in the end. Uh, would make our lives significantly easier. But no. The Berber Navy is far superior to the Frankish Navy, but I mean, the Franks have a bajillion uh, fortifications and whatnot. They don't have heated shot. Double, thankfully, but it's not really worth it. I'm just gonna get some fast fire ships to help out. Okay, now we have room to work with. See if we can get a little bit of fishing in, just to help kickstart our economy. So our army composition is going to be relying primarily on like uh, cavaliers. Camel archers, and then eventually once gold runs low, it's going to be primarily hussars. Whatever camel archers we can scrounge up. And uh, whatever siege we can scrounge up.
Ah, yes, perfect. Make at least a little bit of a house fall here. And I'm attacking these pointless buildings. Well, I guess they're not technically pointless, but you get the idea. They're not that important. It'll give us a bit more time. Seriously. Get all the TCs up and running. Gold I don't need right now. Good old 4TC22 villagers pro strat. Easily affording all, uh, all these TCs to have constant production. But still, it's not like there's a ton more I could be doing. Because there's no real point in attacking before I have, you know, infinite resources. Or not infinite resources, they have infinite resources before I have full upgrades. making a few fishing ships to help us out early on. Um, although the Bay, of, the Bay of Biscay does have tons of fish in it, uh, they, you know, make navy and I don't really want to spend resources on that if I can avoid it. Okay, here we go. No, not the yurts! I wonder if these guys can take these ships. Just boomin', boomin', boomin'. Which at least we can do in this one, unlike the last one. Might even focus on camels before I focus on, um... Cavaliers, just because the camels are more resource efficient and we really do have to be resource efficient here. Like, it might seem like I'm making much ado about nothing here, but, um, yeah, trust me. The, at some point in the not too, too distant future, they're gonna really start attacking us hard. And then never stopping for the rest of the game. It is now at this point when my fish will die. Azul, 
Have the night, have the night. Make one, man. Have the night. Probably start mining gold. Yeah. Should probably not be housed. Have the night. Controversial have idea. Grip those guys. Wait, what? Screw you! Seriously? One light calf? Oh, yeah, see, they're attacking us. Heavy Camel takes forever to research, so uh, the sooner you can get that guy, the better. And our economy is looking pretty robust already. Those are some fully upgraded Frank Paladins. Fun really begins. And we're already running out of gold. Not one more. Have the night. Guilds is a very, very important one. <laughs> I know the deposit of the relic and it instantly gets uh, knocked out. Relics are going to be pretty essential as well. And definitely go for Bordeaux before you go for the Frankish army, because the Frankish army is way harder. And it's best if you can fight them one-on-one, -on -one as opposed to having to deal with Bordeaux as well. Because the thing with Bordeaux is that they are making trash units, and the Frankish army doesn't really make trash units. They just make paladin champion, like, onager. <laughs> And that is not an army composition you can counter easily. Oh yeah, there are the, uh, the paladins from before. 
Oh, the fun is so beginning. Aren't you guys having fun? This isn't gonna stop for them, like the next two hours, by the way. Stables. Get a universe. Oh, yeah, we have a university. Uh, chemistry, for sure. Get some of these bad boys. Okay, at least I'm still gathering from this stone, all right. These warships are really annoying. From? Oh, more purple paladins. And that galleon. Go, Mr. Camel Archer. Onward to victory. Wait, what? I don't know. Anyway, we're going to build a castle here. Help defend that side. Siege engineers. Oh, I can't take that gold right now. The good news is they're dumping so many resources. Aww. 
if you guys think this is going to stop at any point in the near future, <laughs> you'd be wrong. I think this castle can take down, the re take down the rest of the paladins. Okay. All about production buildings, guys. Gotta, 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 gotta snipe those production buildings. Can't you kill these paladins? Wait, why aren't they? Okay. My trebuchet died, I assume. Yeah, that too. Really? One light cav? That stone's depleted. I think there's more stone here. Could mix in some calves as well, help with the infantry. Don't run into the cab drums. Wait, why are they going for the trebs? Oh no. Um I think there's some more gold this way. Oh no, no, no. At least they don't have hoardings. That's the tiny bone they throw you. Of camel archers up. Start getting some light cav to tank. Oh no. And, like, there's nothing to raid. There's no point where they'll run out of resources or anything like that. They will literally spam units at you like this, you know, until you either win or lose. Oh, 
Azul. Eh. Have the night. Where's good? Have the night. Ali del Hatami. The myths in such a myth. I'm not. It's the myth. I'm the myth. Okay, maybe gonna make some progress here. Okay, that's dry. I think there's one here if I remember correctly. Oh, yeah, I lost all my rams. Eventually, they're going to put so many of their pop or so much of their pop space into uh, ships that they won't have enough land units. Ha ha! Cries. I don't know what their pop limit is. I think it's like 150 and 125, 150 for the Frankish army, 125 for Bordeaux, something like that. Why is this castle not done yet? Bombard cannons don't have halberdiers. No siege rams. Focus on getting the camel archer count up right now. Because they're going to be something that's going to be at least pretty cost efficient if we can retain their numbers. Why are you stopping? Go! Pop slowly climbing up there. Slowly making progress. And this is a scenario that becomes easier over time. Like, the more production buildings you take out, it, once you take Bordeaux out, things do get easier and easier. Okay, remember this said need to retain the Camel Archer numbers. Attack the ram! Okay, one castle down. Let's just start taking down these random buildings. What? Where, where are you going? It's just we have so little gold to spend on everything. And 
and eventually they're going to bleed me dry of it. Market prices have already bottomed out. Oh wait, if they're all attacking me over here, I can mine this, this gold over here. Hell yeah. Okay, there's a stable down. That's a win. I haven't climbed up above 150 pop in a while, but uh, at least I haven't dropped below 140. I'd love to be able to grab Hussar soon. Well, I still can afford it. Oh, Frankish Army's attacking again. Okay, Bordeaux's getting slowly but surely destroyed. I still, I think, have one more castle up there. Perfect. doing our very, 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 very best to keep our camel archers alive, and then just sending in camels and hussars as fodder. Remember, Berber camels are really cheap. 48, 40, or 44, 48. Uh, they're not as cheap as Byzantine camels, but they um, do have bloodlines and plus four pack. Arrgh. in production. Oh, what? No, don't attack the goddamn houses. And now we're sitting pretty at 180 pop or whatever. And these galleons are really annoying. At some point I might try to invest in fast fire ships, but that's a lot of, uh, that's a lot of resources. I need to be very judicious with how I spend them. Oh, I am running low on stables, actually. I should get some more. I only have four right now. Oh, whoops. Forgot I did that. And remember, my camels do regenerate, so that really even helps uh, further their efficiency. We pretty much strip mined. Remember, guys, this is a one sword difficulty campaign. Ornlu, a lull to that, is what I say. You take down that, you take down that, and you take down the castle. Or at least try to. Don't think things become easy once we defeat Bordeaux, however. They don't. Because now we're running into the problem of... We're really low on uh, gold income. So, north of Bordeaux, there's going to be some more gold. I remember this because the scenario takes frickin' forever and you... 
you remember the gold spots. Oof. I think they'll resign once I destroy the castle. And we're going to build another base of operations up here, because there's another big gold location. Okie dokie. Now they're out of production, except for dots. Okay, we need to take down their docks too, apparently. Don't remember having to do that, but that's life, I guess. Bound. Whoa, 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 where did those purple paladins come from? Okay, like there, there's some gold around here. I, I, I know it. I know it in my bones. Told you. There's some stone here as well, yeah. Okay, literally what's keeping Bordeaux in this game? We've leveled their entire freaking city. <laughs> All that's left are some segments of wall. <laughs> Try and get some docks up. Just use some fast fire ships to take down whatever remains. Oh yeah, there's no relic over here. Yeah, those galleons are annoying. Okay, so what we're gonna do is there's a big, big, big fortress to the north. But what we're gonna do is we are going to first go after uh, these two smaller fortresses by the river. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait for our fast fire ships. Because that way we can help clear out some of these galleons.
Now I'm like a boy. to go all the way over here. Anyway, they only make aliens, so you can just make fast fire ships. But we are going to need to set up a war machine over on this side eventually. Yay! Maybe I... No, I can't stop the castle. <laughs> we conquered Bordeaux, or what's left of it. Not really sure how much the city's worth at this point. <laughs> like, why is there this random shrubbery on this hill? It means I need to chop it down before I can build a castle on it. Anyway, here's the main fortress, but like I said... Whoa, we did get that castle! Sick! Six, 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 six. Believe it or not, this is actually going faster than I envisioned. <laughs> I think I'm doing a like compared to the last time I did this, I'm doing a Doing a better job taking map control. Taking those gold spots early on when I'm still able to do so. Anyway, if I can snipe this one last dock, it's, you know, over here somewhere. Then I will be rid of these galleons forever, which is going to make my life much, much easier. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. Yes, that's a problem. Oh, come on, come on, snipe the trebs. Sure. Oh, and I've lost most of my camel archers. I'm gonna have gold. Like, literally, they don't make any trash units. They only make gold units. That was painful. You want to kill this thing? Okay, well, I can sell a bunch of resources. Namely food. That should be sufficient in getting me some rams and some trebuchets. Crap ton of hussars, but in general, I just need way more camel archers. All right, another freaking. Ugh. Didn't I send a monk there already? I didn't kill that dock. Holy shit, man. Okay, I still have nine fire, fire ships left. 
Just gonna try and snipe this stable in barracks. Oh my god, they're trapped. Alright, let's go for that fortress. I don't know why that exists, but sure, why not? But our population's kind of low right now, and we're kind of really starved for resources. Yes, I know I have a bajillion food and a fair amount of wood as well, but I actually don't want to waste those resources at the market. At least, you know, insofar as I can avoid it, because it's not very efficient in the very, very, very long run when the map runs out of wood and stuff. Okay, awesome. Let's see, we'll just that guy. Oh, whoops, I should probably take down this, uh, this tower. Oh, great, got that. Perfect. I mean, honestly, all things considered, this is going fairly well. <laughs> oh, I lost that trap. Unfortunate. Something, something, sniping production buildings. You know, as, as hard as this scenario is, the reason I ranked at number 5 and not, you know, higher is one, I think those other scenarios just had, feel more hopeless. This doesn't feel hopeless, this just feels like a total grind. And like, at least for me personally, this sort of thing plays much more to my strengths than one like even the last one, where it's like all about unit control and being as efficient as possible. This is all about, you know, long-term strategic planning and macro. Which are like my strengths as a player relative to everything else. So maybe like for some of you guys who've seen the my top five hardest videos or top five hardest scenarios video, there we go. You would you would have put this uh, higher personally. But uh, I, I stand by it. I'd say it's five. Or no, no, I didn't put it as five. I, I put it as a uh, four. Yeah, I think I put it as four. I think I put the old tiger as five.
There's another gold I can take somewhere over here. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Like, this scenario is hard. I certainly don't like it. <laughs> but... It doesn't... Whoa, that guy is very stuck. It doesn't make me want to, like, smash my face into the wall as much as some other ones do. Well, like our dear friend, uh, Bari4, which we'll get to. Okay, there's still a barracks here that we need to deal with. Oh, I have a corgi scratching at my door. Why, hello there, little dog. Can I help you? Slowly walks into my room. Send another monk out, see if. Oh, wait, there's another monk here. Anyway, oh, this place should be all cleared up. Don't care about a market or a university. There's another gold I can take. Oh, I completely lumberjacked this area. Okie dokie. Only one area left. Just one stable, one barracks, one castle. Yes, hello, Dash. How did you get there? <laughs> Not over yet. Attack, please. Move. Holy shit, man. Okay, got the stable. No more cavalry. Oh, 
Almost there. Just this barracks and this castle. Dash, do you have another sock of mine? Pauses for a second in the sock chewing. Almost there. Why do I feel like I missed a relic somewhere? I mean, obviously there's a relic right here, but... I have three relics, right? Is there one here? I don't remember. Maybe there's one here. Maybe I'm just crazy. Wouldn't be the first time. Sorry, so keep let the Rams do the building raising. Boom, baby. Descendants of Baravaka no match proud. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Feels good. I didn't miss any relics. I mean, we explored pretty much the entire map. There's another gold here, another gold here. Um, but other than that, I mined out the whole map. Oh wait, well I was still working on this one. But other than that, I mined out the whole map. And there's another stone here. Blessing of Allah, the horn announcing our success sings a loud, shrill tone that echoes over the countryside. Upon hearing our approach, Odo's army descended upon Bordeaux, only to be trampled beneath our hooves. Another Frankish army hastened south, but was no match for our brave seasoned warriors. A bloody battle ensued, and afterwards, the Franks lamented their defeat saying that God alone knows the number of the slain. With the Frankish army defeated, there is little standing between our magnificent forces in eternal glory as the conquerors of Europe. For centuries, history will remember us as the courageous warriors who defeated countless kings. My journey is at an end, but our triumphant army marches north to defeat one final adversary, a man who calls himself the Hammer, Martel in the Frankish tongue foolishly believes that he can resist us. Soon enough, his feet Oh, sorry, mate. That that one doesn't work out so well for you. Yeah, tour, the Battle of Tour happened like right after this. Like right after this. Anyway, here's our KD. Not as good as it normally is. But we did our best. We did our best. God damn. Anyway, that was the Tariq Ibn Siad campaign. Even though Tariq himself was not in the last two scenarios, but still, gold medal! Alright, so what's next? Uh, Yodit is circa 960. And Bari is 871 to 1071. I guess we do... Bari first because it starts earlier? Sure, why not? Okay, next up is going to be Bari, boys and girls, and oh boy, is this one a doozy. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.